Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about how to avoid a midlife crisis. So, before I begin, sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky. It's just I've been recently, I've been recently, I've been, been unwell, and I'm and I'm better now, properly for the first day for today. So, what it is is that. You know, the, you know, the reason why it happened a midlife crisis is just, it's just, it's just a case of that, where where as we plod along when we're younger, when we're younger, when we're much younger, when we've left school and we've got our whole lives ahead of us, and we're always fought, we're always worried about what work money work money all that kind of day-to-day -day activities that any normal person will do although there is there is, is there is really in my book there isn't really a such thing as an, a normal person because everybody's different so you know the average human is normally worried about work and money and and career and all the all the down to earth stuff of life but as time goes by we we especially it can even start it can, it can even start earlier i believe it can start earlier as well so especially when it comes to when it comes to ladies it normally happens to men but it can happen to ladies as well but when they when they be when when a lady be, be when when a lady wants to have kids and they get to a point where they and I've seen this actually happen. So I watched, I saw a program. I watched a, a program, a, a program where a lady was looking for a looking for a, looking for a date, but she she was hoping to have kids and she was, she was past the age of childbearing, and she was forty one. She wanted to have kids and. But she she tried. She said she confessed this out. Of, she confessed this out of her own mouth. Forty one year old. Because once you're forty, you you your your chances of 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 having a child might be gone. And when it because she doesn't want to think about it because she she's she she because she's still hopeful she doesn't she doesn't she she actually said and confessed this out of her own mouth that she doesn't want to think about it because because of the fact that when she thinks about it it just it just she just goes goes on another one her mind just. She she just finds it more better just to not not think about it, and so it can happen to a lady at forty, and it can happen to a man at can happen to a man at normally fifty, age fifty. But you know, with with that, you know, there's there's a there's a fluctuation in that because it can happen it can happen at any age. But you know, it's best. It's best to 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 review it because that's the key to to actually sorting out your midlife crisis, or our midlife crisis is to try and sort out, try and sort out what 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 we really want, what we really need, and and want to find in life. What we wanna what what ambitions we have in life what 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 our what our calling is what we so desire and crave because if we if we if we we're just going through the 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 the, the, the hustle, if we're going through the, the hustle and bustle of life all the time and not really not really planning out and wanting to not what and not really seeking or, or wanting to find out what our true calling is and what we are what, where we are meant to be placed placed in eventually the push is going to come to the sh the push is going to push is going to is going to come to shove where where we're going to get so frustrated or so emotionally unbalanced that we're going to sort of take it out on something when we haven't found our calling 
we haven't had that have we haven't had that the child the, the child or we haven't we haven't found our calling or found found what we're looking for our essence our the main reason why we've been put on this planet so it's a case of just dealing dealing with it that's the best way of doing it and that's by dealing dealing with it before it actually happens if you know if you know you're getting on ye getting on in years if you have that ambition that you you never really chased after the ambition that you never really seeked seeked or looked for that ambition that you never you know, that you crave so and so and so longing you, the ambition that you so crave long long longingly and longing for it it's not the case of maybe if you if you so desire it you should go out there and do it but the only the only the only encouragement i can i can encourage you to do is one thing is to try and try and use god in that circumstance in that situation because if we try to find it without god it's going to be a lot more harder because you know the, the, as as i've said in my videos the devil is out the devil is out there to steal to steal kill and destroy our lives doesn't really doesn't really have to be our lives it can also be to do to do what what we own or what is in us or, or around us so it's a case of just you know seeking god because if we try to seek go outside of god and do this without god it's not going to work and you can you can put this to put this to the test as well or, or you can try it out you should try and ask a a, a long term a long term christian if if they've ever a deep a deep a deep rooted christian that's that's serving in the church that is not just not just somebody that's that's not serious about god don't ask somebody that's don't ask somebody that's not serious about god about Christianity, but ask someone that's 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 really committed to Jesus Christ and God, somebody that is that is that you know that will follow God no matter the cost. No matter, ask them their history as well. If they've been ever, if they've ever been through any kind of trials and tribulations or problems, and what have they done to 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 overcome it? Once you've asked them, then just ask them about about whether they've ever known or or ask them or ask them personally have they ever have they ever been through been through been through midlife crisis you can ask a christian that any 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 long term christian preferably an older christian because they will tell you that you know they'll tell you and 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 encourage you that and say that this is the Christian as I must I must I must hi, I must highlight this is a Christian. Um they will tell you that, you know, they, they will tell you that they, they never have been through a midlife crisis and even and even if they have, they will say they came they came out of it at the better end because they relied on God, they relied on Jesus Christ. So so and to and to confirm as well as far as i know i've never known i've never known any, i've never known any genuine christian who's who's ever been who's ever gone through or been in a midlife crisis so yeah So with that, I believe I should finish and pray. So let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us from past, present, and future. Pray and be upon us, O oh Lord. Pray grace and mercy be upon us, O oh God. Help us to understand the meaning of mid midlife crisis, spiritually, physically, mentally, psychologically, O oh God. Help us to understand 
the, our emotions, oh God. Help us to understand our calling in, in life, oh God, even if we haven't done it already, Father. Help us to understand that we need to we need to find our calling and then we can be complete and happy in, in what we're doing in in our true calling, oh God. Not 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 just some fancy, not just some fanciful ideas, oh God. But a real real meaty and a real a real a real a real taste of of, of, of success, oh God. Of 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 us achieving something or so, or, or a purpose, oh God. Because Without you, O oh God, we know that we can do nothing. But I pray, Heavenly Father, that you put upon us, Father, whether we're in a midlife crisis now or whether, or whether we feel hopeless, O oh God, in our emotions, O oh God. I pray be with us, O oh God. Comfort us in the, in the midst of the, in these trials and tribulations that we're going through in, these, in, this very, in, in the very core of midlife crisis, O oh God. I pray grace and mercy be upon us, O oh Lord. Feed us your word, O oh God. Feed us by your spirit and by in our minds and our hearts, in our in our utmost be in our utmost of our beings, O oh God. In our spirits, I pray, Heavenly Father, that you remain with us, O oh God. Draw close to us, Lord Jesus. Draw close to us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, as we cry out to you. Fill us, O oh God. Bring bring salvation unto our unto our hearts and our and our minds, O oh God. Bring, bring, bring peace in our minds and hearts, O oh God, right now in Jesus' name. Pray for those that are watching that you're able to help us, O oh God. Help them, O oh God, and help us to understand, O oh God, what, 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 why we are here, why, what purpose we are meant to be here for, O oh God. But, but I pray, I pray by grace and mercy that you be with, with us and remain with us, O oh, oh Lord, until the appointment, appointed time, O oh God. And, and I, I pray you bring healing in our, into our situations, oh God, physically and psychologically. Pray, pray you, pray you, bring bring understanding to our minds and hearts in in, in the in the blood of Jesus, Father. I pray these things all in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. God bless you guys, girls. Bye for now. Peace.